Covering all sports with Rock and Manooch with Jimmy B. Proudly sponsored by On Air Sports Marketing. And is powered by the injury attorneys Lerner and Raw. In Iraq and need a check? Make one call, that's all. 602-977-1900. And always online at LernerAndRow.com. Now time for Calling All Sports with Rock and Manooch with Jimmy B. On Fox Sports 910. Hey everybody, we say good afternoon to you on a glorious Tuesday, Valley of the Sun, Rockin' Minutes with Jimmy B. Fox Sports 910, 99.9 FM HD2, and also on the iHeartRadio app. And we are in Glendale, right here on Bell Road at the Barrio Queen on Bell Road. It is indeed Taco Tuesday and also El Bandito Yankee Tequila Tuesday. Jimmy B and Manooch. Manooch, I love coming out here just because I love just going to any Barrio Queen, okay? <laughs> we are any Barrio never Queen. picky when it's El Bandito Yankee Tequila. You got that right. With Barrio Queen, our great partners that we have out here. And I just, it's, it's just amazing. Bell Road is. Uh, it's 24-7 nonstop. You look at the traffic going up and down, but very easy to ex- access here yeah, well, at Barrio Creek. Come on back. We're back in the banquet room Yeah, because that's about all the fans that we have that come out. They've given us enough room for the banquet to come on out here and watch us perform and watch the magic happen out here at the Barrio Queen in Glendale, just just east, about a mile east of the 101. 101. Yeah, yeah, just just come on out yeah. and you'll, you'll watch all of it going. But, Jimmy, I'm excited. Yeah. The Diamondbacks. Are you sitting down? <laughs> I am. You got your seatbelt on? I do. Hands at 10 and 2. Okay. Are in the playoffs. Playoff baseball. They are in the playoffs. So you have Brandon Font going against Burns. Um, how the hell did they get here? You Stop know, and think about that. I, I know. when you when you when I tried to kind of go through the entire season last night a little bit, and they started so fast and were in first place for so long. And then after the All-Star break, that horrible uh, 14-game <laughs> losing streak, and then battled back and then lost. I, I, every day they lost down the stretch, and then they still got in. You would have thought. Now, with a little all-star break, a little time off, yeah. they come back refreshed. The worst thing for the Diamondbacks was the all-star break, mm-hmm. was the break. And, you know, you and myself and, and Rock, we talked about, okay, can they capture that momentum, that chemistry that they had before the all-star break? You're leading the National League West at the time. I think they were like nine games up of, of 500. Uh-huh. They came back, um, just couldn't garner that momentum or that uh, chemistry, I don't think chemistry, I think it's just the momentum. Momentum issue. Because yep. anytime your, your car is in, fourth, is in uh, fourth gear, cruise control, and you're going downhill, you're feeling pretty good. But what happened, I felt, is you, you pulled over that little rest stop over there, <laughs> shut it all down, kind of hung out, and it took that car a while to get back up to gear. Fortunately, they did because we're going, my gosh, if the, to see where they were, yes. if they were to falter that bad, what a collapse that would have been! But thankfully, they kind of they reengaged. Their their hitting came alive. Their bullpen mm-hmm. started to shut folks down because, face it, Jimmy, it was a big old melted chocolate yep, mess. It was. It was a yep. mess. Yep. You had starters that couldn't go beyond four innings or five innings. You even had a couple starts. It was by committee. The bullpen by committee. You had a couple injuries. Zach Davies experiment didn't work. Um, Brandon Font was struggling with about a, a 22.5 ERA. I exaggerate with that a little bit. <laughs> but he was up, and, and the rookie, I think he finally found his sea legs. I think so. Kelly struggled. Uh, you, the problem was Kelly and Zach Gow were struggling at the same time. They were struggling on the road. On the road, same time. But you know what? Hey, wash that out. A new season begins tonight and as that, they get it going. That's right. And that brings us then to our State 48 roofing. It's your call question of the day. And for a free quote, repair, or installation, head to state48roofing.com. You can also follow them on social media by searching hashtag sexy roof status. Here's the question. What percentage of a chance do you give the Diamondbacks advancing out of the wild card round? You have four options. One, 100%, two, 75%, three, 50%, four, 25%. Just go to Rockin' Manooch on Twitter, cast your vote, and we will update through 
throughout the course of the show. So far, uh, you know, a lot of folks participating, yeah. and, and I voted this, too. I said 50%. I, I went 50 as well. And uh, after that, 25%, uh, 25%, 25% voted for 25%. And then, and then from that standpoint, it's 100%, 12 and a half, and 75% at 12 and a half. All right, so right now we're going to head to Italy. That's our top story of the hour because our compadre, Mike Rock Morocco, is hanging out at the soccer match between Napoli and Real Madrid. Rock, how are you, pal? <laughs> I, it's, it's great. I mean, I hope you drop me, Richie. Um, but, um, yeah, and, and I'm not even drinking. They don't even sell beer here. So it, it's not one of those things. But I'm literally, it's like I got a pit in my stomach. It is not a fair, it's just a scary place, man. It's 70,000 people, and it's so hard to get into. There are people jumping over fences, trying, you know, running towards the the, uh, the gate to get in. Um, it, it, it's so much different. No one's drinking. I mean, everybody got to the stadium. Everybody's in the stadium three hours before the game starts. And they're just singing and chanting, and I'm trying to post stuff on, on – uh, on uh, Instagram and Facebook, but <laughs> unfortunately, uh, my phone's about to die, so I need it. I make sure that my cab and taxi can find me so I can get back to where I'm staying. <laughs> so, uh, to be honest with you, it's an incredible, it's an incredible atmosphere. But I'm not. I'll admit, I'm scared. I, I can't talk. I don't. I don't speak Italian. I mean, and, and everybody's nice, but I'm. I'm in the end zone, or I'm, I'm behind the bench, and it's. It's just rowdy. They're standing, and they're just screaming and and just going nuts, and they're nice to me and all that, but they know I'm not from there. I mean, it's like, but I'm wearing a hat. I'm wearing a shirt, a scarf. I mean, I got everything. I mean, I tried to fit in. I I got to tell you, Rock. It's weird. They don't have have any concession stands. They sell Coke, and they sell, like, potato chips and water. That's it because of the unruly fans. uh And, like, and the uh, the other fans, the real Real Madrid fans, there's probably maybe a hundred of them, and then you know over sixty nine thousand, and you maybe will hear in the background, but they're singing now and they're just standing the whole time, and with, it, there, there's no food, no one's eating or anything. But at halftime, everybody is is basically eating their own food that they brought in, like sandwiches, mm-hmm. and then the pregame stuff. The pregame is weird because it's, everybody's out in the streets and they're they're drinking Peronis for two dollars and eating pizza and it's it, guys I gotta tell you man and I, I it is it is so much different than what we're used to in America I mean completely when it comes to the fanfare and how you know and I'm talking to a couple of kids next to me that are that are studying here they're students and you know they're like I'm like where's the beer they're like well sponsor i guess champions league has heineken as a sponsor they don't sell heineken here so they're not selling it but they have the, but you see an ad for pepsi but they sell coke and there's like no signage in the stadium at all nothing i mean it, i don't know if you guys can hear that yeah I mean, we do hear it it, it is it, it, it it's crazy like i'm afraid to go back to my seat i'm 11 <laughs> rows from the, from the from the from the pitch and i i'm sorry and Richie, I hope you got my, you know, my word I said. I'm sorry. I'm, just, I'm, I'm losing. You know what? It's, oh my it's goodness. scary here. I, I got to tell you, Rock. Is, is, is there anything close, anything close that you've been to here in the states or wherever that matches that? Anything even close? You've been to a lot of Super Bowls. And you've been to a lot of Fiesta Bowls. No, there's Bowls. nothing. There's not. There's nothing like this. And anything I've ever been to. I've been working in sports all my life. I've been to Super Bowls, Fiesta Bowls, Rose Bowls. Uh, name it in you know, a Ryder Cup, which is why I was here. Um, but this is this is a whole nother level. They are so diehard. And when the guy scored, Osengard or whatever his name was, he runs out of the pitch and jumps in the stands, and the place goes nuts. And the chanting and the music and it, it, it's really cool. I mean, I get. I just don't know what they're saying. So it's just, you know, I don't know what they're saying. And there's some of the songs are American, but it's, it's crazy, man. Like, I'm literally, oh. So, uh, all right, I don't know if that wasn't a score, but it was something positive, you know. Who knows? <laughs> uh, but 
it's three guys. I gotta tell you, I'm looking forward to coming home. I can tell you that much. <laughs> but it's just oh. different. It, it's just uh, it, I, I I did the bucket list. I'm glad I did it, and I'll, I totally want to do it again. But this is like the top Italy team playing the top uh, Spanish team in the Champions, which you can't get any higher than that. So this has been such a big deal for this town and for this community. And I will tell you, the way the fanfare, it's like going to an Olympics and USA is playing, you know, uh, whoever, uh, England and, and anything, and, you, and everybody in the stadium is rooting for USA. And that's the kind of way it is on every single minute, every single second, and every play. And it's just it's just a different – and anybody listening understands where I'm coming from, I guarantee it, if they've been to a, a match or something like to this level champions, because it doesn't get any higher than this other than maybe a World Cup gold medal you know, round or something. But this is a group stage, and, um, yeah, it, it's crazy. I mean, I literally bought, the, you know, the hat, the scarf. Oh, all right, that's a goal. So it's now 2-2. Two, two. So that's pretty cool to be on the radio here. Yeah. <laughs> it's so totally crazy. They're going to start, like, chanting, and they're going to be going – Absolutely bonkers. <laughs> I mean, they're going to start. I mean, I can't hear you guys, but wait. I mean, I got to let it go. You guys got to hear it. They're going to do the chant. <laughs> it's like J-E-T Jet. That's not what they're saying. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't uh, hear joining because I can't hear you guys. But, all uh, right, Rock. Well, Rock, thank you. Hey, so thank you. you. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll uh, let you go. Have anyway, fun. I'm kind of be, walking away right now. Yeah, there you go. All right. Be, be safe, Rock. Yeah, we'll see safe. when you get back. All right. There he goes. <laughs> He's at the game. How about that? They score a goal. Yeah, and Diego Armando Mardona is one of those that scored the early on, but right there. How about that? Live from Napoli, Italy. Real Madrid versus yes. Napoli, two to two. Uh, your play-by-play voice won Mike Morocco, a.k.a. Rock. That was that oh, that's was good pretty, stuff. That was incredible. It really was. Speaking of incredible, you know where you need to be on Monday nights. You need to be at the CAZ Sportsbook. It's located at the CAZ Sports Bar Casino, Arizona. You had a big crowd last night. Manuch was hosting, did a absolutely spectacular job, and will be back again next Monday with the Packers at the Raiders. So that's going to be a packed house. Look, at all you got to do is show up. It's free. You can win money, and you get incredible drink and food specials as well at the CAZ Sports Bar. So we'll see you Monday, Casino, Arizona. All right, coming up are Valley Chevy Dealers, Sounds of the Night. It's next, Rockin' Manooch with Jimmy B, Fox Sports 910.